All right, so Nathan, let's talk about what you've got on the nose. <laughs> I can't work with this. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the other guy back. <laughs> wow. My co-host. He didn't actually drink out of my glass, right? No. Okay. So today we're going to be tasting the 2018 Grenache. Okay. Uh, so this is our single varietal Grenache that we make here at Talbot's Creek. The Grenache actually has a pretty cool story here at Talbot's Creek. And an interesting bit of a background in the Chateauneuf as well. When phylloxera hit in France in the 1860s. Like COVID. <laughs> Many of the vineyards that had been decimated were replanted to Grenache because it is so hardy, because it is so vigorous. So a lot of these Chateauneuf wineries that had been primarily dominated by Morvedra were then replanted to Grenache. Beaucastel is one of the few wineries that maintained that Morvedra base. Okay. We also follow that awesome. path. When Talbot's Creek was, you know, in its early inception and Bob was sourcing grapevine material, Grenache was available at that time. Mm -hmm. But what was available was primarily being used for jug wine production in the Central Valley. So it had been basically propagated specifically for... High yields. High yields. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. Because the grapevine material that was available here in California wasn't of high enough quality of mm -hmm. what we were looking for, we really made the decision to go back to the nursery in France and source that grapevine material from the Bocastel nursery. I always tell people Grenache is it's a friendly grape. I think, especially on this property, we get this like jubilant personality. It is, it's, <laughs> I feel like it has this great meaty texture right off the bat. I mean, this is a wine that you almost want like a fork and a knife to enjoy. It's just, it's dense and it's lush and it has this nice acidity. You have these beautiful ripe fruits that are kind of cloaked in that dry tannin. Just gonna hold up for a long time with this structure. Absolutely. This is the baby. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. really, really young right now. But this is, it's singing today. Mm -hmm. really. <laughs> it does have kind of that purple floral softness. The softness is a purple color of a purple hue? Yes. It's a purple softness. When you smell this wine, when you taste this wine, what colors are you smelling? What colors are you tasting? Purple. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Chelsea. I'm The Shepherd. And we'd like to thank you for watching these videos with us. We will be doing one every week, so hit the subscribe button right there if you want to follow along. Until next time, Nathan. If I drink enough of it, I get very jubilant. <laughs> yeah. I so that. I will confirm.